1985 by two graduate students in the music department, Mark Sunkett and Willie Anku. And then around 1985, my mother started participating in it, Shona, Shona Sharif. And then 86, she took it over. And in the beginning, it was just, I, I would say the ensemble was comprised of college students for performances and some community people that were really African dance enthusiasts or cultural dance enthusiasts. And I think what's interesting uh, about my mom, and depending on what year that you knew her, um, kind of dictated like the impact that she had. And, and also in what area. So my mother had a fine arts from an art um, from Howard University. So in the 80s, early 80s, when she moved to Pittsburgh, you know, she participated with, with different dance companies. Uh, people tell me that she used to take dance classes and do some stuff with Bob Johnson. Um, but she also used to work with an organization called The Imaginarium, and they did performances and kids shows throughout the, throughout the city. Not necessarily African dance, but just dancing, period. And then in the early 80s, she created, um, she helped found, found um, uh, Women of Vision, uh, the art collective. So she was one of the first members and, and co-directors of uh, Women of Vision. And then I think after she took over, it, it, it was then that you really start to see the growth of traditional African dance in the city. So, you know, my mother started bringing in people to, to work with us and, and teach us traditional dances. And actually, Suleiman Rucker was the first one to, I think, teach George and George Jones and a couple of people the gym. Made. So it just kind of evolved from there in terms of what traditional African dance is. Uh, then we started doing Black Nativity um, in 93. And then we also did other productions, African Fables, Swing Glow, Sweet in the Morning. Um, she became a member of the Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania Council of the Arts. So she started really doing a lot of stuff uh, in, in the community and being recognized, you know, statewide uh, for her work. I actually started joining the company in 1992, and it just happened that my, one of my roommates, one of my teammates, my little sister, and, and a lot of friends started dancing with my mother. And then we just started like kind of blowing up from there where we went from, I, I think I looked at one video, we had almost like 12 to 15 people on stage at a time dancing. Uh, Ron Hudson was a, a fixture at that time. Steve Kaiser, who was one of our drummers, and George. Um, and actually those two drummers there, they sounded like they were playing for like six different people. Um, and then over the years, it, it just kind of evolved and changed as people graduated, as people kind of left and started, you know, living life. So right now, it's, it's really, you know, a, a core of me, Lamont, and, and Reese Redwood. Uh, my name is Maurice Redwood, and I'm a drummer with the Shona Shreve African Dance and Drum Ensemble. And I've been with the ensemble uh, for about 20 years now, 22 to be exact, but yeah, 20 years. And uh, oh, I am old. Well, I've got old with the ensemble. Yeah. Yeah, uh, these guys watched me grow up. And uh, it's been a great experience to be a drummer. I uh, came up uh, under Lamont. Lamont brought me into the ensemble. And ever since then, I've been hooked. And Nativity has been an a annual tradition uh, for me for, for all these years. We've seen Nativity from, from one end of the Spectrum to the to the next, and uh, we've been rocking with Aranda ever since. So, so my brother suckered me in to doing um, coming into the ensemble. One day, he asked me if he could uh, if I could bring the drums down to him that he left at home. I said, "Sure, I'll bring them down." So I took them down to him. Long story short, he asked me to come up and watch the class, and I said, "I will," because I promised him I would watch class one day. And next thing you know, I was on the drums and. I tried to stop, but Rondé was coming down the floor, and he said he screamed on me and said, um, "No, no, keep going, <laughs> don't stop, <laughs> keep it going." So I kept it moving. <laughs> you know, also, when I first uh, came in, I met there was a there was a core of drummers there. Um, my, my brother and a, a few others, Ben, Ronnie, and um, George, 
George Jones, who is um, a, a, a known drummer. Um, he also does like a Latin drumming and things like that. He was a good, a good inspiration and a good leader. You know, and, and doing the show, it's, it's always been kind of a family thing and a family atmosphere. So even with me dancing, my mother dancing, uh, my brother was always, my brother Hassan was always involved behind the scenes, um, either creating the flyers and, and, and the images of the show, uh, but definitely helping in, in the box office. Once the show starts, box office is his. I have no interest of being out there and dealing with that part of it, um, but he, he's good for that. He was always, you know, he was always the money person in the house, so that was his area, and, you know, that continues to be his area. But it, it, I, I think in terms of just family, you know, family, you, you have that saying, when I think this, and I think it's wrong when they say you can't pick your family. And I think you can pick your family, because people have picked their family. You can't pick your blood. And through Black Nativity and the Ensemble, we have such an extended family that um, is huge. So I just want to thank these guys to my left and my right, because without them, the Ensemble wouldn't be doing anything. They've been, they've been the backbone. They've been there. There's been shows where they've just been the three of us. And we try to rock it and do the best we can. And I think, you know, for the most part, we do a pretty good yeah. job. Oh, okay. um, but without these dudes right here, we wouldn't have the show and the energy and, and the commitment from people. So I want to say publicly thank you to both of you. I love you, and 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 let's keep it going. I also like to give a shout out and a thank you to to my wife Latanya, um, my father Regis, uh, my brother Hassan, and his wife Tamika, um, my nieces Jemaya, Michaela and Kalia, uh, and of course, my mother Shona. Um, they have been there, their support, their help, their energy helps me keep going. So thank you.